So we, uh, of course, had uh, Elizabeth Goldspink and Dr. Elaine uh, Chin with us for a uh, an Instagram live and so many questions came mm -hmm. up that we thought that we would deal with some more of them now if that's cool with you. I love this question. It is from a viewer who says I have PMDD. Not many women know that this exists. Can you talk about it? What is PMDD? Yeah, so we talk a lot about PMS, but we don't yes. hear a lot about PMDD, which is a more severe form of PMS okay. that impacts your mood. So anxiety, depression, mm. creeps up a week or two before menses. And it, it can be debilitating for a lot of women. So there's a lot of things that can be done both conventionally and naturally. I can speak to the natural world. So sure. you can, there's some herbs that lift spirits like St. John's wort, yeah. lemon balm, anti-inflammatories, an anti-inflammatory diet can yeah. help as a more longer term approach okay. with that as well. Yeah, so diet, things like sugar, caffeine, alcohol, not good for this. Mm. And then obviously when you go to your gynecologist or your family physician, they may choose to temporarily or permanently put you on some hormone replacement like a birth control pill or, or uh, estrogen replacement. That is a discussion that needs to be happening with one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so there are ways to help it, but you've got to go make sure you meet with your physician or your naturopath and figure it out. How about this one? No hot flashes, but I feel slightly warmer than normal 24-7. Is this normal? Well, it is potentially menopausal issues, but yeah. obviously the, those symptoms are actually a result of um, epinephrine, the, the, your, another hormone that is stimulated when you're under stress as well. Okay. So same things apply. No coffee, no alcohol, no sugar, get enough sleep and exercise. That mm -hmm. might take care of it to cool that um, lack of estrogen effect down. Anything you want to throw in there? Just throw in instead of that coffee and that alcohol, have some peppermint tea. Even okay. if it's hot, it has the effect of being very cooling on the body. Oh, yeah. good. Okay, but that's the little good to caution know. is don't assume it is, so get this checked out. Get it checked out. Mm -hmm. How do you know if you're diabetic? So this is kind of a big question. Are there, what are the key markers, what are the signs that you should be concerned yeah. about? The most common thing is people think you have to be uh, dry mouth and going to pee all the time, and, mm -hmm. but that is the type 1 diabetic that goes severe. So I think anybody who has a family history or slightly overweight, you need to just simply go and get your fasting blood sugar done mm -hmm. and more exact your A1C, it's the hemoglobin A1C. I talk about the sugar coating around your red cells. Mm -hmm. That will give you an indicator if you're moving towards prediabetes or diabetes. So look at your family history. Don't worry about if you want water all the time or if your arm's itchy, like forget yeah. all that stuff. Look no. at family history and then if you've got it, if it's prevalent, yeah. go see a physician. We want to catch it before you become diabetic. Right. And Any one, things you can do? I was just going to say once a year, having your personalized blood work that's tailored to, to yeah. your needs tested that includes those things like your HbA1c, your insulin and glucose, and other things that you might be prone to, nutrients you might be deficient in that can exacerbate diabetes, um, chromium being one of them. But Good. yeah, having those, those personalized things measured is important. Thank you for answering those extra questions for us.